Hello and welcome to another STEM in the Box instructional video. Today we'll be looking at a functional overview of Scratch Offline 2 Editor. So you'll need to go to your Mac or your PC and open up Scratch 2 Offline Editor. I'm not going to update at the moment. Great, so this is what you see when you open up. So what I'm going to show you is where everything is essentially. So at the very top up here in file, that's where you can create a new file, obviously, or save them. You can also record a video of the resultant um, animation if you wish. A very, very useful thing uh, for educators to use is um, swapping to the small stage layout. And what that does is it shrinks up everything else and then opens up the um, code menu, code window, sorry. And then that's useful because um, it allows you to see much, have much more space dedicated to the code. Also, sometimes when you finish the animation and you want to show it, it's very good to use the full screen show animation up here. So you can basically flick between having more room on your screen for the animation itself or you can go to small stage. So I'm going to go back to the normal state of affairs here. Great. Now, a lot of the help videos on the website, on the Scratch website that is, pertain to the online Scratch Online. Inside Scratch Offline Editor is a bunch of tutorials and reference manuals. So in the tips menu, when you hit that, you come up on the right hand side. The first thing is step by step, and these are tutorials. So if you wanted to use the Getting Started with Scratch tutorial, which is also available online, but if you wanted to do exactly the same thing inside Scratch offline, it's got all of the, the algorithm, if you like, or the steps. So you can see what's going on. So that's broken down to a step by step process, which is called an algorithm. And then these are the actual steps or instructions. So it's a self-paced type of tutorial that the students can work along with themselves, or you can use a direct instruction if you wish. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning there. So these are all the tutorials that are inside Scratch 2 that do not require an internet connection to the MIT server. Great. So after that, you've got some how-to tips. And what that is based on is if I wanted to, to say, make a sprite change color and rotate a particular color, that would be in effects. So you can click on this and it'll give you an example of some effects that you can, you can um, work with. So that is based on certain things that you want to do or certain things that you want to happen. So effects, animations, games, stories, and music. So the final one over here is blocks. And that is like a traditional reference manual. So these are all of the code blocks that are inside Scratch. And so if you're not sure what the move steps code block does, then you can go to blocks motion and it will tell you there. Great. So what's the other way to access um, help? Well, there's two other ways to do it. If you go to the top here, we've got block help, and then your cursor turns into an arrow. So if you're not sure what move steps does, you can select the block help and then click on that, and it will take you to the very same uh, reference for that block that we looked at just before. Great, so that's the second way to access that. Now the third way is if you put your mouse over the block and then if you right click and then go help, it will take you to the very same place that you had. So that's three ways to access the help menu for each block. So that's either going through all tips and blocks or it's, let's close that, or you go to the block help and then click on the block that you want is the second way and the third way is hover your cursor over it and then click help. So they're the three ways to get to uh, the help menu for each uh, block. Great, so what we're going to do now is just provide a overview of what are the functional areas 
of Scratch 2 Offline Editor. The first functional area is your animation window which is up here in the top left. So that's where the results of all of your code and your costumes and your backdrops etc. That's where you will see it play out. And as I've mentioned before, you can turn, you can go to full screen mode by clicking that one there. Okay. Now your sprites are located down here in the bottom. So if I wanted a new sprite, let's say a beach ball, I would get a second sprite which appears in your animation window, but it also docks down here in the sprite window down here. Okay. Now the backdrops are on the far left, so if I wanted to, there's no backdrop there at the moment, but if I wanted to add a backdrop, let's say uh, that one there. So when you do that, the editor window comes up, so you could edit that if you wanted to and add, so you can create your own backdrop. If you wish, you can import, all that sort of thing. I'm not going to show you how to do that, it's pretty straightforward but let's just get out of that. So I'm going to hit back to scripts up here. So that's where your backdrops are. So you can store all of your backdrops that you, and they'll keep being listed down there. All of your sprites that you'll have will be listed over here. Great. Now, um, up on the top here, you have scripts, backdrops, uh, or costumes. So if I click on a sprite, it, let's click on the sprite here, uh, you will have scripts, costumes, and sounds. So the behavior of each individual sprite is governed by scripts, costumes, and sounds. So there's a different collection of scripts, costumes, and sounds for each sprite, okay? So the scripts are the code, which are the collection of the blocks. Now all of the code blocks are divided up into tabs. So you have all of the motion blocks in the motion tab, all of the blocks that govern the looks, sound, pen that you can draw and put up and down, working with data, events, control, sensing, operators, and then more blocks. There's nothing in there at the moment, but when you start doing physical computing, like with our scratch links into our Arduino system, all of our blocks will appear in there.